Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I'm so excited. The Vogue Patterns Spring Collection is finally here. McCall's has been tagging this like crazy on social. And so I have been just dying to take a look. Um, okay, let's get into the collection. What do you say? All right, so typical Vogue, we have a few lovely gowns, which we'll take a quick look at, although I literally have nowhere to wear a gown, but this one certainly is beautiful. It's Belleville Sassoon, Lorcan Mullaney is the designer. Um, yeah, certainly if you have like an event or a gala <laughs> or I don't know, what kind of life do you have to have to wear something like this? Even if you bought it, it is pretty though. This little detail is very nice. And the draping, I'm sure you would learn a ton if you made a dress like this. Even if you didn't do it in black, it would be a really pretty wedding dress, I think. Let's take a look at this guy. This is pretty. Kind of reminds me, like it could be, maybe without the train, but it could be kind of a, um, like a bit of a nightgown too. Also, maybe without the zipper. <laughs> Nobody wants to sleep in a zipper. But the lace and the underlay and all that is really pretty. You have a, like a deep sweetheart. Um, and then in the back, you even have this interesting detail here. You've got the super long back darts and bust starts for shaping and then other than that it's just cut into a curve i can't imagine this is super difficult to sew although they do say it's advanced but that just might be because of the fabrics required but again seeing it in, in like a line drawing doesn't that look like a really pretty wedding dress too i'm trying to think of a way that you could like make it more casual i mean even if you made it knee length it's still pretty fancy maybe if you use like corded lace I don't know. It's still pretty fancy. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. All right. Now we've got a Tom and Linda Platt pattern. And they're kind of always known for, I don't know. I mean, kind of funky, but not like Catherine Tilton funky. Um, just always unique um, design lines and kind of, I guess, maybe dramatic. You know, th This one certainly is with this arm thing. <laughs> um, but I've made a uh, shift dress from them as well. It was just color blocked. Um, so it, is, it isn't always like the draping and, and all of that. But yeah, she looks, she looks great. Here's the line drawing. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what's going on, but I presume that this whole thing is one piece and then under here is like a sleeveless version of kind of just like a regular shift dress you know what I mean but this is nice this little <clears throat> um, long princess seam is nice I wonder if that well it's not under here because you would see that line um, so in the back I presume that under this is another one of these. So you've got the shaping. It's kind of like a, a long, you know, vertical fisheye dart, but into a princess seam. And then a little room to walk. And then this dramatic. I, I, you could do this part in like a sheer too, and that would also be really nice. This is just a little bit too dressy for my lifestyle, um, but I can see it being really striking on... Okay, this is nice. Okay, so jacket, top, and pants. You guys know I love a wardrobe um, pattern where it includes like uh, uh, patterns to make an entire outfit because you can mix and match them. You can wear them together. You can wear them apart. Um, it's just very economical, especially for Vogue patterns, which are the most expensive. But we've got this really very flattering um, tank top. I love the jewel neckline. And then this little itty bitty slit, very feminine, um, beautiful choice in fabric, it's nice and light and drapey. And then you've got these pants. Okay, so 
we're going to get into the pants a little bit more with the line drawings, but it looks like they are darted through the midsection and then the darts open up to create a wide leg pant. That is very interesting considering my hip is I was about to say disproportionately. I don't know that it's disproportionately larger than my waist, but it is larger um, than the standards. Um, so I feel like this would be a great pant for me to try because I could, you know, cinch in these darts even more um, to, to get the waist to fit like it should. And then you've got this, you know, kind of longer, almost like a cardigan coat. Um, I can tell there are shoulder pads in there. And then, yeah, maybe an all-in-one neckline, all-in-one collar. I don't love these long jackets, to be honest, but it's super easy to crop them. Yeah, look at this pant. I'm kind of really loving that. That is like a really pretty shape. Like I said, we'll look at the line drawing. How about now? Okay, so here's your jacket. What does it say about the jacket? Online jacket has shawl collar. Um, so that's super easy to sew. It's just like a band that goes around. Um, front and back neck facings, shoulder pads. Oh, side seam pockets tacked to front facings. That's a nice detail. So you have these pockets in here, but they're not like flapping around and just loose. You actually tack them to the other side of this facing. Um, and bias bound seams. I mean, okay. <laughs> loose fitting top has front slit and back neck opening yep with hook and eye yep uh neck and armhole binding okay and top stitch detail right here down the center front that's a nice top uh, pants are very loose fitting through the hip and worn above the waist and have waist facings with boning that's interesting front pleats back darts, invisible back zipper. Let's take you guys. Those are some nice looking pants. I have literally never heard of boning in pants before. I don't know that I've ever even seen boning in pants. Is that comfortable? I mean, I guess, I mean, obviously it's just through here, you know, but like, can you still eat and stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Is it like wearing a half like the bottom half of a corset I don't know but they do look spectacular look how beautiful these really long darts are and like I said these pleats um open up into you know to give you the fullness in the leg I don't know I really like this I would definitely these two together a thousand percent um this jacket is kind of not a throwaway but you know I'm not super excited about it these pants however I don't know. Gosh, do I? I mean, they do look really great. I mean, look, this is beautiful. I do wish they would not have sewn them in black, though. It's sort of hard to see all the details. That's better because they've got the sunlight. Um, you know, you can see more of the details. This back one, though, like I can't really see anything. I'm trying to adjust my screen and it's not really working. But anyways, I think the pants and top are stunning. Love those. Okay, Catherine, I think it's pronounced Bryn. Um, kimono top and pants. So this is definitely not my style, <laughs> but we will take a look anyways. You've got a... Um, little top here with these I don't know cap sleeves they aren't even really sleeves it's a um shoot the name is escaping me wow look at that kimono there's this is pretty this is really shaped very nicely it's very flattering I like how the shoulders um, appear broader and then cinched in waist it's an hourglass. I mean, it's literally like I'm drawing an hourglass with my, with my cursor. So that's a very well drafted top for sure. Are, this is pants see through. <laughs> I mean, you go girl, right? The pants are legitimately see through. Wow. 
okay, well, <laughs> that's unexpected. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's the kimono. That just looks like a really comfy robe. A little bit, you know, judgy, like, you know, master of the court. You may all be seated. But um, yeah, look at the top. That's a really flattering top. And then your pants are just drawstring. I mean, uh, elasticized waist, wide leg pants. I mean, those would look great. You know, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know that I would make them sheer. But um, I like how it kind of looks like a skirt. And let's see this one again. Right? I mean, it's kind of like very, yeah. I don't know. I could probably wear those pants. It, I think the kimono, it's like all the loose fitting drapey together. Like if I, if I had these pants, I would wear them with a more close fitting top. And if I had this top, I would wear it with, you know, more structured pants, like leggings or jeans or something like that. And then I just would never make the kimono unless it was going to be a house robe. Okay, Zandra Rhodes, who is normally, I got to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed. She's normally, um, all of her uh, mock-ups of the, of the pattern are usually in these like crazy swirly fabrics. So I'm a little bit disappointed that she's gone with like kind of a stripe. But this is beautiful. You guys know I love a jumpsuit. Um, and this whole thing happening here is stunning. Um, very loose fitting jumpsuit has surplus bodice with contrast binding, uh, kimono sleeve, waistband with ties, side seam pockets, flared leg, hem facings. So yeah, you're going to have a really beautifully made garment at the end with all of those, um, little details. It looks, you know, forgiving in the backside, which is nice. Let's see what the line drawings look like. Yeah, this is cool. It's basically a kimono top with pants instead of, you know, your typical, I guess, skirt or like, you know, wrap dress. I wonder how hard it is for this to stay on your shoulder. It does look to me like it's drafted in a way that it curves, you know, it lays flat against her neckline and chest, which is a good sign. There's not a whole lot of gaping anywhere. Um, and then along the back, you know, it's high enough that I think it, it would probably keep it up. Is this all one piece? Yeah, this is all one piece too. So there's no seam there to weigh it down. I don't know. I really like this. Lightweight fabrics, obviously. Most of these patterns are going to be in this kind of category of fabrics because it's springtime, it's lighter, it's breezier. Um, so there you go, extra small through extra large. I know some of you um, comment about sizes. I don't really know what you guys want to know about the sizes. Maybe if you're in that category where you like to see the sizes, let me know specifically what you're looking for. But um, anyways, yeah, it eats up a ton of fabric. Look, three and seven eighths. What is this contrast? Oh, the belt. That's cool. I like this. This is probably going on the list. I would totally wear that. And I like too that it's, you know, you don't see flattering jumpsuits um, that aren't sleeveless. You know what I mean? Like a long sleeve jumpsuit, I don't know, that seems like very covered up to me. But this is still, you know, elbow length covered up along your shoulder, a little bit warmer, um, but not so covered up and stuffy, you know? Yeah, love that. Okay, now we have this Julio Cesar jacket. That's cool. You guys, my bank account is screaming at me. <laughs> I like too many of these too soon. Oh, I've been 
doing so good lately because I think the patterns haven't been like wowing me, but this is, this is another level collection. Look how cool. Let's read. Oh, there's not much of a description. Very loose fitting lined jacket has built on collar. I don't know what that means. Welt pockets and fabric and top stitching details. I guess that fabric details are the contrast. How does it close? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just open, which that's fine. But look, it's like the most simple outfit underneath. It's like probably a black tank top and maybe some ponty leggings. And then you put this on and all of a sudden you are like ready to go. Let's see what fabrics. Jacquard, lightweight, uh, satin, taffeta, and shantong. Yeah, so you'd have to, you'd have to really pay attention to fabric here. Um, I would say lightweight versions of all of these so that you don't end up with like a coat. It's more like a jacket. Um, so yeah, here are the sizes. It actually doesn't, well, I guess it takes a lot of fabric. This is for the body and this is for the sleeve contrast. Contrast one, contrast two. What did they do contrast to? One is the under collar and two is the sleeve. Well, I guess they, unless that is a different fabric in the same colorway, I don't know, too hard to tell. But I like that. Okay, now we've got, oh, a Paco Peralta duster, sash, and pants. All right, well, <laughs> um... Yeah, this is, I mean, that neckline is pretty. It's just like the sleeve is a little bit too short and then the jacket is a little bit too long. But I mean, I guess that's what a duster is. And also it's in suede. So that's throwing me off a little bit. Let's check out these pants. Okay, the pants are cool. They kind of honestly remind me a little bit of those other pants that I loved so much. See, it does, it, it looks a little bit better, um, unbuttoned, I guess. Oh, oh, it is a hidden button, button placket. I mean, it is a nice pattern. I think just not my style. There she is all buttoned up. And they're huge, um, like kick pleat in the back. There's something going on here. I do like the proportion of the pant though. Okay, here's our um, dolman sleeve with a cuff. The back has this little notch that's kind of cute. And then a separate belt pockets, which we went over. Those are the belt loops right there. This is our hidden placket. I guess it's like a partial hidden placket. Okay, and here are the pants. So very similar to the other ones. This one does have a double pleat in the front. And I think it's a little shorter. Maybe sits in the natural waist. Uh... Back neck cut out, wide sleeve band, blah, blah, blah. Pants sit one inch above the waist. And I'm pretty sure those other ones are even higher. Um, very loose fitting through the hip with a center back zipper. Back darts and facing, front plate detail, side seam pockets, bias seam finishing. That's lame. And hems with purchased ribbon finish. So this is like the intermediate version of those other pants. Um, if you're like not familiar with boning or hem facings or any of that, like more tailored finishes, you could get these and get a similar look, um, without all that bustiness. Here's the yardage. 
linen, crepe, gabardine. Yeah, I mean, the pants would be, you know, suitings. Probably this gabardine. Linen would be great in the pants. I don't know about crepe. Maybe. It depends on the weight of the crepe. Look at this for the jacket. <laughs> yep. So there you go. There's the chart. All right. Next up, we have. Ooh, N Nicola, Nicola Benetti. Uh, fit, like a fitted sheath dress, I guess. No, sheath dresses don't have a waistband. Just a fitted dress, I guess. Nine dress is close fitting through the bust with invisible back zipper, neck interfacing, contrast single sheer side front and back panel with no side seam that's interesting bias fabric binding for waist and armhole okay side seam pockets hem facings they're into the hem facings this season and back slit no provisions provided for above waist or hip adjustments hashtag me so <laughs> I don't really like this. I don't like fitted skirts anyways. This is, this is cool though. I do like that sheer panel. I don't know what single sheer means. Single contrast, single sheer side front and back. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's because it's um, no side seam, that it's like one single piece maybe? I don't know. Here's a line drawing. I think that if you can make one size out of the pattern, like you don't ever have to grade, this would be a good pattern for you. If you have to grade at all, like if you're a straight size 12 or whatever. You sew 12 bust, 12 hip, 12 waist. Um, you would have, you'd be okay. If you have to make those adjustments, that would be difficult because you don't have a side seam to do where naturally you would do it. You'd have to take it from here. Um, and maybe also from this princess seam and this dart, you'd have to like pinch out a little bit from all of those um, or add, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. So, and I don't know why there are no provisions for the hip. Why can't you just add to the hip? I don't know. Okay, here we have, uh, this is the one I think that they've been teasing a lot on social media. Yes. Okay, fitted dress has lined off the shoulder bodice with asymmetrical front yoke. Stunning. Um, back slot zipper and skirt with back slit with or without asymmetrical front drape. So um, they were saying on social media that this was inspired by Meghan Markle. You know, she loves this neckline um, where it's like slightly off the shoulder. Um, so you've got all this darting. This is really beautiful. This is lovely. This would make a great church dress. Uh, well, even you could go to work in it. I mean, think of all the events that Meghan Markle goes to in a dress with a neckline like this. You wear it to a wedding, you know, a garden party. Do people still do those? <laughs> you could pretty much wear it anywhere. You know, I prefer a wider skirt, but you could um, take any skirt from any pattern that has a waistband and you could mesh them together. But I don't know that it would be yeah, I guess it would look okay if it were still slim, but not a pencil skirt. This is pretty too. This little doodad. What are the differences in all of these so far? So we've got without the little flouncy thing, with the flouncy thing. Oh, an extended sleeve. That's kind of cool. And then here she is. This does not fit her well. These 
darts are way too long. Way too long. But either way. Yeah, I mean, this should like stop way down here. That's why you're getting all of this pulling it's because the her apex is like right here and these aren't even close to the right place for her. The back looks good though. Yeah, these darts are beautiful. There's your, they're calling it a slot zipper. It's just not invisible. You know, the ones with like the little fold over. And then here's your slit in the back. And then here's our line drawings. Very nice. Okay. Today's fit by Sandra Bitsina. That's pretty. It's hard to tell in that paisley fabric exactly what's going on here. But it looks like it, let's read. Loose fitting dress has gathered neck, which is this, with back button closure, that, neck and armhole binding, okay, lined skirt, flounces with narrow hems and sleeve variations. It's still hard to tell, but it looks like you have a you know, kind of a curved piece like this that a ruffle is sewn into for the skirt. And I, I'm guessing this, all this just means it's really loose. I mean, you can't tell on her because they freaking put a huge belt over it. But this looks like not fitted, you know? Like this is not close to her body which is why I imagine they put the belt on the girl because it wasn't super flattering maybe. But there's that flounce that you can see there. Let's try and see what's going on on the bodice. So the bodice looks like there's a ruffle seam here like that. And then maybe like a cap sleeve with like another layer of sleeve underneath it. It's a very cool concept. You know, if I don't love wearing belts around my waist, I just, I don't know. It's just not very comfortable to me. So if you have to do that to make it flattering, that makes me a little bit leery. But the concept of it is good. I wonder if you could just maybe sew some elastic into here and that would get it to sit tight on your body and be more flattering. That would be an easy solution. Or even like a, even sewing in a drawstring, I think would, not be terrible considering it's already so you know flouncy and floofy you know kind of casual I think a drawstring could work too I can only imagine the yardage almost yeah up to up to five and five eighths of a yard <laughs> that is a lot um I don't even know what this means. Size combinations, A through J. I have no idea what that means. I guess that has something to do with her today's fit. It must be some other way of fitting. Size A through J. I don't know what that means. Do they have an, here's today's fit. A through J. Wow, up to a 55 bust. That's cool. Wow, this is a very interesting chart. This is much more like ready to wear, I think. If these were numbers, huh. I'm still all over the chart though. Like I would be 
like an A or B bust, I would be a D, yeah, a D waist, and then an F hip. I don't know <laughs> even that would mean, um, but interesting. I should try one of those to see what this fit thing is all about. Okay. Now we have Vogue Easy Options Custom Fit. Custom Fit, I think, is when you have the different bust sizes, I think. No, oh, it doesn't say. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Okay, so you've got, obviously, this is like perfect for a stripe because you've got so many different pieces. You've got a yoke. You've got a um, center front seam bodice, and you've also got this little angular piece. Then you've got a waistband. <clears throat> then you've got a skirt with buttons, which is hilarious to me because these buttons are literally like there's they aren't usable. What are you supposed to do? Unbutton this and then what? Then you've just got an open. What is the point of those? Um, and then you've got these um, patch pockets with like an angular opening. And it's midi length. Those buttons are cracking me up. Okay, here it is without most unnecessary buttons ever. And I want to say too, I'm 99% sure that when you get your pattern pieces, they will, like the grain lines will be drawn so that you can achieve this look, you know, this grain line will be going this way, this grain lines this way, this grain lines this way, and so on. Um, which is nice because then you don't have to like use your brain to like figure out what it is you're trying to do. But it also looks like there's contrast, like this stripe looks smaller than this stripe. So there's that too, which is also a nice detail. <clears throat> Here it is with plaid. Okay, <laughs> here it is as a solid, which really gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here. It's beautiful. I really do love it. This, I just can't. Like, what? No. Here's another option. I like the little cap sleeve. I don't know that I like. Maybe if this were in the solid, it would be better because it'd look more, I don't know. Cute gingham, obviously, but they did this one all on the straight or all on the well, no, this one is on the bias. So maybe that these pieces have two options like for view A, use this grain line, for view C, use this grain line, and this one also doesn't have the patch pockets. So if that was throwing you off earlier, those are gone. So are our stupid buttons polka dot and maybe maxi that looks really long okay let's see the back yeah oh back is all done on one grain it looks like a dart here and also these neck darts <clears throat> that's nice because it gives you like a shaped shoulder you know here are all of our options. Yeah, so custom fit is for different cup sizes, which is really helpful in a pattern like this because it's difficult to do any bust adjustment with this little guy here um, and kind of with the yoke too. So that's nice. You wouldn't have to worry about that. Um, and then you just have, I think, contrast, you know, different grain lines, you know, different fabrics and then different lengths and the one cap sleeve or sleeveless. Those are all of our options. Yeah, here they are here. So that's cool. This is a nice dress. I have one similar that I made that I really love that has this little thing too. And I did do a play on stripes with it. It does not have this yoke thing though. So that's um, an interesting 
take on the front. I love it. Of course, I love it in gingham the most, but you could have a lot of fun with all kinds of different fabrics um, with this. The recommendations in terms of substrate, broadcloth, eh, linen, lightweight denim, raw silk. Yeah, that would be fancy. Uh, you could also do sateen. You could do, you know, different types of cotton, like lawn would be really great. Um, I mean, this is pretty versatile. You could do it in a lot of, a lot of different ones. I wouldn't go too light. Like I wouldn't do a chalet. i probably wouldn't do 100% rayon at all, actually, but like, uh, uh, rayon blended crepe would be really good. Um, yeah, or any kind of like blend would be good. Here's our sizes. I like this one. Okay. Now we've got Marcy Tilton. Cute. Okay. I think this is a knit. Mrs. Shrug and Dress is all it's given us. Typical Marcy Tilton with this like drapey pocket thing. And I think the seam line is like pointed. The shrug is so cute. Am I right? I love the style lines. I love how it is like high low. There's the back. In general, this just looks really comfortable. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Pullover knit dress is very close fitting through bust with neckband. Love that. Shaped waist seam. Asymmetrical skirt details. With draped side front pocket and back pleat. And neck and sleeve variations. Shrug has draped shawl collar front and shaped him with raised back with or without front pockets. I'm obsessed with this. I love that so much. I would wear that. I mean, I think it's perfect because the problem I have a lot of times with my fit and flare dresses is that when you wear a cardigan over them, the cardigan hangs on the side and it kind of takes away from the shaping of the waist. Like you lose the fit and flare. It just becomes kind of like a box and then a flared skirt. This you can totally tell how even though this is like kind of a fit and flare dress, you're still able to get that really pretty waist shape because the um, cardigan is not impeding on that shaping. Does that make sense? Okay. I don't know what the difference is between these two, A and B. Can y'all tell? Sleeves look the same length. Oh, with or without pockets. I would definitely not make the pockets. Okay, and then here's the dress, sleeveless. Here's this thing that I was, that you could sort of see in the um, pictures. And then there's also this. So that's interesting. And then here's your back pleat. And then you have um, this, I guess, elbow length sleeve. But you could obviously lengthen this, shorten it, you know, do whatever you need to do. I really like this, especially for a knit. Yeah, love that. Okay, now we've got this little wardrobe, my favorite, jacket, top, dress, skirt, and pants. I mean, come on, that's like literally a wardrobe. Um, it is a little, I don't know, maybe corporate. Um, and, you know, not the shape that I like for myself, but so I can't tell if there's a waist seam or not, but you have these darts here, which could either be vertical fisheye darts or regular darts into a, I think they're long vertical darts. 
I mean, she looks great, right? I mean, if that lady showed up to the office, you would be like, she's the boss. <laughs> um, but it's also, I mean, certainly you could wear a quote unquote suit lots of different places, not just the office. I love the top. I love the top a lot. I would wear that top. Or is that top? Yeah. But does the top have these darts? It kind of looks like a jumpsuit, doesn't it? Beautiful coloring. There's the top into the skirt. The jacket over the dress. Pretty. And there's some, you know, shaping here. It's not just like cutting off her bum. There's that slot zipper again. Fisheye darts. Are they listening to me? <laughs> and then here's your pants. I don't like how it dips down. She needs some more room for her. Tush. Yeah, I wonder what the shirt looks like untucked. That's pretty. The style lines. Okay, cool. Online jacket A is fitted with notched collar, shaped hem, yep, snap closure with inside ribbon and snap. So I guess there's a ribbon on this side to keep it this part where it needs to be. Top B and dress C are fitted with back zipper and hook and eye and front facing with tab. Okay, armholes and back neck finished with purchase bias tape. Skirt D and pants E are worn one inch above waist and semi fitted through hip with facings and back zipper with hook and eye. E has top stitching detail and flared leg. So yeah, I guess the top is just super fitted. The top is really <laughs> a shortened version of the dress, right? I mean, it just is like they just chopped it off right there. So, I mean whatever for that but um, there are a lot of shaping details going on here you've got this little princess seam type deal here you've got this lovely dart you've got neck darts elbow darts darts galore um, which is great that's why it, it looks so uh, polished and tailored and it looks really great on her so if this is your style you know if you're like into the closer fitting hip stuff <laughs> then yeah I mean look at these pants I could never get those to fit me um, but they have this seaming here and then obviously you have your side seams and then the seaming in the back as well this reminds me of like early 2000s Express you remember the store Express I guess it's still around Right? Doesn't this seem like pants that they would sell at Express? Okay, now we've got a very easy Vogue. Tunic dress and pants. Okay, the dress is kind of a lot. <laughs> there's a lot going on. Um, there's the top, which is, oh, that's the tunic. It kind of just needs to be a little bit longer and would be a cute dress, like a knee length dress, not this like, I don't know about that. It's just so high up on the neckline. Here, I'll go back. It's so high up on the neckline. Then you've got these sleeves and it almost goes to the floor. It's like she's just lost. But that could be cute and super simple. Oh, look, sneakers. But that is that, I think. So I don't see how that is much better. Maybe if it is um, solid and not a print, it would be... Yeah, just not super flattering, right? Doesn't she look pretty large through here? That could also be this box plaid or whatever it's called. Window pane. This is nice fitting. So it should look more flattering, I guess. Yeah, I don't know about this one. 
Tunic and dress are close fitting through bust with back zipper, shaped waist seam. Don't even know what that means. Self ties at waist, length and sleeve variations with purchase bias tape at neck. Shaped hem, wrong side of fabric will show. Oh, there's your shaped waist. See, this is a lot more flattering than this. This is just too much. Maybe like in a really lightweight fabric, you know, like a chalet or a rayon crepe or something like that. It's just got to drape, you know, it's just going to fall close to the body. It cannot have any structure to it at all. Um, look at this though. Yeah. I mean, this, okay. Okay. This is better than these pictures are giving it credit for. Um, this would be adorable lengthened to a knee length dress. Super easy to do. I would make that in a heartbeat. And look at these pants. We didn't even see, <laughs> I guess that's what those are. Um, which are cute. I mean, what were we calling them? Pencil pants. Um, this is not a dart. This is, I think, um, where you press the crease. I think that's what that is. But you've got these cute little slits here and then just single darts on the front. And a, I do like a side zip though. So I think if you have, um, I don't, I mean, yeah, you don't have to have a slim figure to wear those. Certainly not. But if pants are easier for you to fit, if you have, maybe what I'm trying to say is more standard measurements. These are really cute. I like how there's no waistband. I love a pencil pant. They just never work for me. Okay. But I retract my earlier statement about not liking this. I have looked at the line drawings, <laughs> reassessed, and I think it could be really, really cute. Um, like I said, it, it I don't love like a tunic, especially one that's like flared. Like, doesn't that just look like she made her dress too short? Um, <laughs> and then with this, it could be a lot better than whatever this is. Um, if it fell way closer to the body, like way closer. This almost looks like it's wool or something. Okay, crepe. I, I bet it's linen. I bet it, they made it out of linen. Um, here they are, rayon chalet and crepe. Perfect for this longer version. Um, the linen blends and the broadcloth, I would reserve for the shorter version. Um, fabric requirements allows for nap, one-way design, or shading. Does anybody know what that means? I know what nap is. One-way design. I know what that is. What's shading? Oh, like ombre? Let me know if y'all know what that means. Extra fabric maybe needed to match design or for shrinkage. Okay, obviously. Oh, and you have the letter sizing here. Extra small through extra large which is annoying because you have to buy an extra small, small or medium or the large, extra large. Ugh. Cause I promise you I'm like a medium and an extra large. I don't know though, because that um, skirt is so flared that I could probably make a straight medium. Anyways. They don't give enough finished garment measurements. I, I, I believe that across the board. The only, I mean, that's the only thing that I think indie patterns do that is better than what McCall's or the big four do is the finished garment measurements. I mean, how is this helpful? The lower edge width. I mean, I don't, why do we need to know that? This is important. Fine. Side length from waist. Like what, how is that helpful to me? Be, to know if I have to shorten it or not. Okay. Like that doesn't help me determine which size I'm going to buy. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, they should have finished bust waist and hip. They already put it on the pattern pieces themselves. You know, anyways, I'm about to get on a soapbox. Let's move on. 
let's look at more pretty things. Okay, another Sandra Bitsina, Mrs. Coat. Okay. She looks very unsure about this. <laughs> That's cute. Very um, coming to America. Who knows what I'm talking about? If that's like a double knit or a fleece, that's really cute. Cute. Not my style, but it is cute. If I saw a woman walking down the street in this, I would think, oh, she has got her stuff together. Right? Very loose fitting coat has snap front and asymmetrical bias stand collar with stitched side seam pockets and fabric variations. Purchase buttons, large snaps, optional trim. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot going on on this. Oh, look at that. All those fabrics. I think that because I don't have a fabric store locally where I can go and like match all this stuff, anytime there's more than like, I don't know, two fabrics, I just struggle. Um, but if I could go to the garment district in New York City or in LA or wherever they are, and you could see them with your eyes and match them together. That is much easier for me, but doing it online is impossible. And here she is with her A through J again. So we've been over that. Okay. Now we have very easy Vogue again, top scarf and pants. Well, that'd be a cute little outfit. So they're really loving the border print for this. There it is in a solid. I think these are woven fabrics. I guess the pant is elasticized. I don't know. They're not showing us the pant. Um, waist. Very loose fitting pullover top has purchased bias tape at neck and fabric variations with thread loops for scarf attachment with buttons at center, back, and shoulders. Wow. Like, is it that hard to get a scarf to stay on? <laughs> Pants have straight leg with elasticized waist, attached ties, side pockets, and stitched hem. I mean, literally, do you really need to button yourself into your scarf? This looks shorter, which would be more flattering to me if this were like up here. And then there's your scarf and then here's your pant. I think what they mean by elasticized waist and attached ties is that the elastic is threaded through the pant and then the ties are sewn to the elastic like at some point. So when you pull on the ties, you're really kind of pulling on the elastic too. Double border prints, which also means when they put this into the fabric requirements, that also means that when you look at your pattern pieces, they're going to be laid out in a way that makes it easy for you to sew this with a border print. Everything is gonna be squared off. There's gonna be no curved hems or anything like that. So if you've never used a border print before, this is a great place to start um, because it just makes it foolproof. Crate Chalet Jersey Knit, so you could go with a jersey too. Um, satin back crepe, what? for B and C. What's B and C? B and C is the top and the pant. <laughs> I don't know about crepe back satin. Okay. Now we've got a Vogue Easy Options shirt and belt. Okay. So high-low hem, it's just kind of a fun take on a men's shirt, shirt dress, however you want to look at it. You have the collar band or you have a, a you know, regular collar. 
I think this would be particularly cute in more drapey fabrics, less shirting. Um, that kind of looks like a nightgown. I don't even know what the differences are at this point. I think sleeves and collars, maybe. I don't even know. What is that? What is that? Okay. So, short sleeves, collar variations, long sleeve. Like, what's this difference? What's the difference between D and A? Anybody? <laughs> uh, very loose fitting button front shirt has single back yoke that extends forward over shoulder. Front, okay. Pleated back, shaped hem, and collar sleeve pocket and length variation. So I'm guessing one of these has a pocket and one of them doesn't. Um, button cuff or opening at side seams for belt. Meaning, I think it means that the belt does not go around the outside of the back piece. It goes into the garment, touching your skin on the back. That is very interesting. And I can't tell if I like that or not. Certainly, I like the waist definition obviously. Why didn't they show us that? Why didn't they make up that version? It would not have been that hard for them to sew this little still, silly little belt. I think, I think that I would like that. I think that that would be flattering, but I really can't tell. Here are all of our versions. I didn't even notice this little version with this scoopy hem without the, oh no, okay. That's the front and this is the back. Okay, I'm, I'm with you now. I was like, wait a minute, where was that? And then it looks like D is longer in, longer in the front and the back. Like, does D go to the floor right here? Is this the floor? Yeah, so I think we're just doing length variations. Okay, so you have to kind of use your imagination with this, but I think that, let's see what they recommend for fabrics. Broadcloth, linen, cotton shirting, chambray. Okay, Wah. that's fine if you're looking for like a typical button-down shirt. But I don't know. I feel like something in like a rayon twill or something that is structured, uh, not structured, lightweight but still has body, um, I think it would be nicer in, in this version where it would fall closer to the body and be more flattering but honestly like I can't imagine not making the belt and needing to cinch in at the waist and this whole concept is just really intriguing that's that's the word I'm going to use is intriguing so um they obviously styled it right over just a simple legging you know nothing wide leg or anything like that so I don't know I would probably make the shorter of all the versions with this belt, I, I like the sleeve. I don't know. That's interesting. I have to be in like a particular mood, I think, to make that. But I think it could be really cute. Okay, very easy Vogue trench coat. Okay, I love the length on it. Um, What do we have here? Just a bunch of drawings. Yeah, it looks like a standard trench. Very loose fitting, I don't know about that. Unlined jacket has double breasted button front closure. Drop shoulder with shoulder pads. Back neck darts, which they literally don't show us one illustration of the back. Notched collar self carriers, which are like the belt loops. Belt with purchased slide buckle and length variations. B and C have side seam pockets. So there's your neck. Oh, 
Huh. Cute. Intro to trenches is right here. This is where you want to go if you've never made a jacket before but want that look of a trench. I think this is, look at this, this is nice detail. Um, the self-carriers are nice. There isn't a ton of shaping, it's just like a box, um, which is why you have to have that belt to cinch in. And I was looking back at this because I feel like these drawings are a little bit misleading. Like they don't look as loose fitting up here as they probably are. Okay, gabardine, poplin, raincoat fabrics. That would be fun. And then here are sizes, again with the letters. Um, and no finished garment sizing at all. So there you go. It's cute. I gotta find some raincoat fabrics, that would be fun. Okay, now we have very easy Vogue pants. Okay. So it looks like a, you know, typical fly front, crossover button, waistband thingy, tab. These patch pockets, or you have these little, I guess, welt pockets. Semi-fitted waist have fly front, flared leg, and waistband, pocket and length variations, button waistband, side seam pockets, hook and bar waistband closure, front yoke pockets. What's the back like? Oh, just the dart. This is a shaped waistband. Did it say that shaped waistband? No. I'm pretty sure this is a shaped waistband, which is nice. That is... Certainly a step in the right direction for someone whose waist and hip are so different. Um, but yeah, still pretty slim through here. So I don't know. It would take some fitting, but not maybe as much. I would definitely do it without any pockets. But yeah, I'm, and these are longer. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I think I just want to be able to make pants. Okay, gabardine, crepe, and denim, obviously. Those all make sense. Any bottom weight, really. And then you have your sizes. There you go. Okay, is that the end? Oh, I think that's the end. That's sad. Well, what did you guys think? Let's go back to the lookbook so we can reminisce and flip through them again. I think they did a really great job. I am going to be getting, I, there were several that I really liked. Um, did you guys mostly agree with me or not really feeling it? I love both of those. Remember, these are the pants that I love, right? I think those were them. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know um, which patterns you really liked. Love this one. Um, and remember, instead of referring to the pattern number, refer to some distinguishing factor. Like if you were talking about this one, say, you know, the blue polka dot knit dress or whatever. And then there's the end. Yay! Good job, Vogue. So typically they will have a pattern sale on the website um, in the days following a release. So I guess be on the lookout for um, a Vogue sale maybe next week or the week after and buy them all up. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!